Okay, titration calculations part two. Calculate the volume of each solution that contains the following numbers of moles. Right. So we want to know, we're given the number of moles, we're given the molarity in moles per litre, so we have to find the volume. So this is a, well let's go into here, let's just put our original first moles equals molarity times volume. Therefore, what does volume equal? Well, volume equals moles over molarity. It's as simple as that. There's our base, quest, base, e, base equation. So the first thing we've got to do then, we've got to say how many What's the volume of this particular system? So V equals, and we've got the number of moles, 0 0.005. We've got the molarity, 0 0.1. Divide anything by 0 0.1 is multiplied by 10, so it's 0 0.05 litres, dm cubed. dm cubed. It doesn't say any particular units we have to put them in, so DM, we can stay, leave it in dm cubed. 0 0.05 is 50 centimeters cubed, incidentally. The next one, well, it's going to be the same system again, isn't it? So we've got vo volume. Volume equals. We want the number of moles. 1 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, well, let's leave it as 1 times 10 to the minus 5. We divide that by. We divide that by the, uh, by the molarity, which is 0 0.01. Divided by 100 is the same as multiplying. So dividing by 0.1 is the same as multiplying by 100. So we'll just take our two decimal places. What times 10 to the minus 5 becomes 10 to, times 10 to the minus 3. So it's 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Now we just we can put that in there. 1 times 10 to the minus 3 is 0 0.001, of course. We want to put it in here. V equals 0 0.001. And again, it's litres, dm cubed. And into a nice pretty blue colour. Question 4. Calculate the concentration of a solution of sodium hydroxide that, given that 25 centimetre cubed required 18.8 centimetre cubed of sulfuric acid, presumably for neutralisation. We seem to have missed the, uh, the words for neutralisation out or for complete reaction. Well, we can see from our equation here that. One mole of sulfuric acid is equivalent to two moles of sodium hydroxide. All right, okay. So one mole. So however many moles of sodium hydroxide or sulfuric acid we've got, we must have twice the number of moles. Well, so we work out the sulfuric acid moles. Moles of sulfuric acid equals molarity times volume. Molarity 0 0.05. The volume is 18.8 .8 centimetres cubed, cubed 0 0.0188. Okay, let's bring in a calculator for this. It's a bit of mental arithmetic otherwise. 0 0.05 times 0 0.0188 and that comes to 3094. 0 0.0094 moles. Then we have to use our equivalence in the equation here that one mole is two moles of sodium hydroxide. So that so then we have moles of sodium hydroxide, moles of sodium hydroxide equals this number of moles times two. Nine four times two. 
And we're going to bring in our calculator for this, as we've already got the number on there. Multiplied by 2. 0, 0, 0,0188. Moles of sodium hydroxide. Now we must apply the relationship to get, well, it's the same relationship, isn't it? It's the moles of sodium hydroxide equals molarity times volume. Only this time we've got the moles and we want the volt, we want the molarity. So we can say molarity equals, and we rearrange this equation, molarity, which we take the volume to the other side, so it's moles over volume. In this particular case, it's 0. Ooh, 0. 0.00188, which is the moles. We divide by the volume, and we're told it's 25 centimeter cubed, 0. 0.025. We bring in our calculator again, divide by 0. 0.025, and that gives us 0. 0.0752. 0. 0.0752. And it's moles per litre. Moles per litre, we can represent as a capital M. Question 5. Calculate what volume of this potassium hydroxide is required to neutralise 25 centimetre cubed of that amount of nitric acid. So we can work out the amount of nitric acid we have, first of all. So the moles of acid, moles of acid, equals molarity times volume, MV. Let's keep Reinforcing this, molarity is 0 0.015, the volume 25 centimeter cubed, 0 0.025, and we'll bring a calculator in here for that. 0 0.015 times 0 0.025, and that comes to 3 zeros, 375. 0 0.000375. Moles of acid. Well, you can see from the equation, hopefully, you can see from the equation, that one mole of acid is equivalent to one mole of base. So, this is equal, also equal to the mole of base. Now, we can use our, this is our fundamental equation, isn't it? Moles is mv. Well, so in this case, it's moles of base is mv. Uh, we want the volume, so V equals mole over whoa, mole over M. And this moles is 0 0.00375 divided by the molarity, and you're told is 0 0.05 moles, 0 0.05 moles per litre. So we divide our divide by point zero five, and that comes to zero point zero zero seven five. Zero point zero zero seven five. It's volume, so it's dm cubed. Now, of course, that's seven point five centimeters cubed. Is that a realistic answer? You can always ask yourself, is it a realistic answer? Well, what are we talking about? 50 centimetres of potassium hydroxide. What about 0 0.015? So not 50, that's 0 0.05. Molarity, and the molarity is a lot less. It, 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 it's, a, it's a realistic ballpark figure. Question 6. A 250 centimetre cubed solution of sodium hydroxide was prepared. 25 centimetre cubed of this solution required 28.2 centimetre cubed of zero. So we can work out the actual amount of hydrochloric acid in the titration. Let's have a look at this then. Okay, so. And let's change this to an arrow while we're at it. Now you can see it's a one-to-one -one reaction. There's one of those hydrochloric acids, so it so it's the same moles of hydrochloric acid as sodium hydroxide. So 
So let's work out the hydrochloric acid first of all then. 28 centimetre cubed, so the moles, mol, molol, mol equals 0 0.0282 multiplied by the molarity, 0 0.1, well we can see they move the decimal place, 0 0.00282 moles of acid. And this is equal to exactly the same moles of base. So this only moles in 25 centimetre cubed of the solution, but the original solution has twice as big. So therefore, in 250 mil of solution, there are 0 0.00282 times to 10 moles. And this is equal to 0.0282 mole. Well, we know how many moles of sodium hydroxide there are, so now it's just a question of working out the mass. Well, mass equals moles times relative mass. Let's be consistent, use the same symbols. Moles times relative mass. And the relative mass of sodium hydroxide is 40, so it's 0 0.0282 times 40. And this is going to give, bring in our calculator, don't know what this value is for, so we can take that off, 0 0.0282 times 40 is 1.128 grams. Right, so that concludes the second part of the titration solutions.